All right, today I'm going to be installing a new cold air intake in this car. So I'm going to be removing all these and then taking it apart and making sure all the sensors, the air sensors, are on the right thing. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. Yeah, I think I'm going to use a wrench better. It's really tough to get that thing out. And then I'm going to remove that one right there. For what I see, only those two screws. You know, the one with the clamp. And I should take that one off just to take it apart easily. So it's going to be three screws for what I see. Yep, that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay. Okay, so here's the intake that I bought. I just got it today on the box from Amazon. And the filter is going to be red. It brings a lot of connectors here and clamps and screws stuff. Okay, so let's disconnect that one first. Okay, so I already unscrew that one so this one is completely loose now what I need to do is unlock this one take this one off so we split completely and this one is already taken off already so I already took that one off okay so I removed this part already that's where the uh, mass sensor goes the whole part now what I need to do is I have to find a way how to remove this I put it uh, all in tape and uh, that's how it looks with everything off on the side of the throttle and uh, I'm going to remove the box that's the entrance for the box and the filter inside okay so I remove the uh, intake top and there's the filter right there so I'm going to take off so it looks like inside. So it looks in pretty good condition. Uh, I don't know. Uh, can't see no light coming through, just a little bit of it, but looking in pretty good condition. Uh, the box, by the way, has another screw in there. That's actually two more. So I gotta remove those, those, those screws to remove the whole thing completely. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna put everything away and then I'll uh, remove this box and start locating where I'm gonna locate the cold air intake. All right, so I had to go to the uh, auto parts store and buy me some tools because I didn't have these special tools. And uh, I really need one of these to uh, get the mass air sensor out. So I bought this kit for like around nine something and let's see if it works okay so uh, i'm starting to do putting together the uh the intake pipe and uh i think i will take that off because it's pretty well messed up but i i installed it already on the new pipe so let me go to the car now to show you what i've done so i remove everything from the stock intake and that's how it looks after I removed it. And uh, the box was screwed through to here and to here. And uh, this was well, was connected to the sensor, master flow sensor. I'm gonna remove this piece of metal because I'm not gonna use it. And that's it. So let's start putting it. What 
I see thing goes through here like this and then I'm gonna have to remove that because the filter is gonna go under that it's gonna go like where that thing is right there the, that box that's where the filter is gonna go so I gotta jack up the car and okay so I remove uh, the plastic cord from over there but the one that I'm supposed to remove is this one right here The one that goes under here, I'm supposed to take out this screw right here. You know, and that's the box right there. That's what I'm supposed to do. Uh, so, let's see if I could do it. Okay, so I uh, took out the clips that goes here. It was a kick right there. And my finger is pointing. And I took out another one from down there. And that's the box right there. The box right there. And there's another screw right there. So I gotta remove those two screws to remove this box. And the, the filter is gonna go here. The red filter. It's gonna be hiding behind this. So, so that's my next step to do. Okay, so I removed the uh, Resonato box, which it was located right here, behind here. <coughs> uh, that space is empty, so I could put the uh, red, red filter here and uh, the pipe. Now I gotta connect. All these first, and these. You gotta connect the first, and that two, to here. There's a hole right there. And once that's done, then I connect the uh, filter. Okay, so the car is running. It's running good. Actually, put a little piece of plastic between the metal because it was making contact with the car chassis right there. So I put a piece of plastic bag right there. I should take care of it. Everything is working fine. See how it filter looks under here. That's how it looks like. That's how the filter looks like. So now I'm gonna put everything back. And the next thing to do is gonna be to paint the top of the engine, which I'm gonna paint it on uh, ionic green. It's gonna come out really nice. So that's the next thing to do. And that's it. So here's the car before we had the coal intake. After I done the engine.